Thank you for choosing the Moldex 9000 series. This full face respirator has been designed for both your protection and comfort. The 9000 is a full face respirator with a complete line of cartridges and particulate filters to cover a wide variety of work environments and jobs. This video will instruct you on the proper use and maintenance of this respirator. You are responsible to understand and follow all warnings, restrictions, and other information contained throughout this video. You must also read the 9000 User Instruction Manual before you enter a contaminated work area. Failure to do so and or misuse of this respirator may result in sickness or death. You must comply with your employer's comprehensive respiratory protection program in addition to OSHA and other applicable regulations. Your employer will determine which 9000 size, filter, and or cartridge configurations are appropriate for your use in your working conditions. This respirator can only provide you with protection if it fits you properly and you wear it at all times during exposure to contaminants. The 9000 is approved for use only against the contaminants specified on the approval label, cartridges or filters, and in accordance with all applicable regulations. These contaminants must have good warning properties, such as smell, taste, or irritation. Do not use the 9000 series respirator against any contaminants or in any areas not specified or approved by your company's respiratory safety program. Do not remain in a contaminated area if you experience any physical distress, such as breathing difficulty, dizziness, or nausea. Leave contaminated area and replace respirator and or cartridge or filter if it is damaged, distorted, a proper fit cannot be obtained, you taste, smell, or become irritated by contaminants, or breathing becomes difficult. Other warnings and restrictions are found in the 9000 instruction manual, or contact Moldex Technical Service Department for assistance, or call your local Moldex representative. It's important that you inspect your respirator before and after each use. Do not wear and return to your supervisor if head harness is torn, cut, or damaged in any way, buckles or flange tabs are missing, damaged, or broken, face piece is cracked, torn, distorted, dirty, or has holes, inhalation or exhalation diaphragms and or gaskets are missing, torn, damaged, or not properly seated, Cartridges and or particulate filters are at the end of their service life, cracked, damaged, or not properly seated. Any other plastic or rubber part is cracked, distorted, or damaged. The 9000 features a standaway head harness for ease of donning. Simply grasp lower lengths of head harness with each hand just above each adjustment buckle, and while positioning chin in flange, pull harness over the head. Push face piece onto face and chin with one hand, and position for most comfortable seal, while pulling and tightening neck tab of harness with other hand. Repeat for other neck tab. For easiest and best fit, always adjust neck harness tabs first before tightening top harness tabs. All four harness tabs must be adjusted so that the pressure of the face seal on the face is distributed evenly. Head harness must lay flat on head. Adjust both lower and top harness tabs evenly for most comfortable, snug, and leak-free fit of the face flange. You must be fit tested before using the 9000 series respirator and at least annually thereafter using an OSHA approved fit testing method. For qualitative fit testing, up to 10 times the permissible exposure limit, use Moldex's Bitrex qualitative fit test kit. For quantitative fit testing, up to 50 times the permissible exposure limit, 
use TSI's port account or an equivalent device together with a Moldex probed cartridge. After donning the 9000, you must do a positive and negative user seal check before entering the work area. To perform a negative pressure seal check, gently and without excessive pressure, cover both cartridges and or particulate filters. Do not press against them hard enough to push face piece more tightly against face. Gently inhale and hold your breath. The face piece should slightly collapse. If air leakage is detected, readjust the position of the face piece and tension of head harness and repeat the seal check until leakage is eliminated. To perform a positive pressure seal check, gently and without excessive pressure, cover the exhalation valve vent. Do not press against it hard enough to push face piece more tightly against face and exhale gently to create a slight positive pressure. If air leakage is detected, readjust the position of the face piece and tension of head harness and repeat the seal check until leakage is eliminated. Warning: If you cannot obtain a proper fit, do not enter the contaminated area and see your supervisor. Make sure you perform both negative and positive seal checks and, if needed, adjust harness each time before you enter a contaminated area and periodically throughout the course of the day. Do not wear with any facial hair, such as beards, which may prevent a proper fit. To take off the 9000, pull lower harness tabs away from face to loosen straps, then pull chin area away and upwards from face. First, inspect the face piece to cartridge or filter disc sealing surfaces to make sure it's clean and undamaged. Check to see that cartridge retainer gasket is in place and is clean and undamaged. If there is no gasket or it is damaged, do not attach cartridge or filter disc and see your supervisor. Only use cartridges or filters from sealed bags. To attach, Align the three notches with the three bayonets protruding from the face piece and firmly turn clockwise until locked into position and unable to turn any further. Check to see that it is seated and flush against the face piece gasket. Next, check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are seated properly. Now, we'll show you how to use our filter discs in piggyback mode, on top of cartridges for gas vapor plus particulate protection. First, inspect the sealing surface and gasket of the piggyback adapter 7920 to make sure they are clean and undamaged. If seal gasket is broken, cracked, or damaged, replace gasket or entire piggyback adapter. Push the piggyback adapter onto the cartridge until it snaps into place all around the cartridge. Next, inspect the sealing surface of the filter disc 7940 to ensure it is clean and undamaged. Now, attach the filter disc to the piggyback adapter by aligning the three notches on the filter with the three bayonets protruding from the piggyback adapter. Turn clockwise until the filter disc is locked into position and is unable to turn any further. Make sure both surfaces are tightly sealed together. Check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are seated properly. Inspect and clean the piggyback adapter each time the filter disc is changed. The 8020 retainer can be used with 7940 and 7960 filter discs for splash and spark protection. Push the 8020 over the filter disc until it snaps into place. Insert one pre-filter into retainer so that the printed side is away from face. 
check to see that filter is properly seated, then push the retainer onto the cartridge until it snaps into place. Check the inhalation diaphragms for dirt and or damage and to verify that they are properly seated. To replace pre-filter, remove expired filter and repeat assembly procedure with a new pre-filter. Use the 7020 filter holder retainer with the 8910N95 or 8970R95 filters only. Cleaning is recommended after each day's use or more frequently if necessary. Remove all filters, cartridges, gaskets, nose cup, inhalation and exhalation diaphragms, and head harness from the face piece. Two inhale diaphragms are located inside the nose cup and two more for each of the cartridge retainers. The exhale diaphragm is located under the valve cover. Open the valve cover by pulling on the latch, then remove the diaphragm. Wash and scrub gently with a soft brush. The face piece, gaskets, head harness, nose cup, and five diaphragms. Use warm, soapy water, rinse with clean water, and air dry. Do not clean any parts with solvents or expose to high temperatures. After washing, reinspect all components, including diaphragms. If damaged or deformed, replace with new Moldex parts. Otherwise, reassemble all parts and check that all five diaphragms are properly seated. Use only Moldex replacement parts for Moldex respirators. Nose cup. Remove by pulling away from center and over the two locating mushroom heads inside face piece. Replace by pushing over them and ensuring perimeter of nose cup fits over the center locating ring. Nose cup inhale diaphragms must be present and properly in place. Inhalation diaphragms. Pull off or push over the three lug retainer head and seat properly. There are two located on the nose cup and two on the cartridge retainers. Exhale diaphragm. Open the exhale cover, pull out old diaphragm and discard. Insert new diaphragm by pushing locator pin into center hole. Ensure pin locator is fully inserted into diaphragm holder and seat it properly. Gasket kit. The same gaskets are used on both the 9000 cartridge retainers and the 7920 piggyback adapter. Pull old gasket over three bayonet prongs on cartridge retainer or piggyback adapter and discard. Push new gasket onto retainer and check that it is seated properly. Head harness. Remove strap by pulling each of the four harness tabs through buckles and discard. Install new strap with Moldex logo facing out and up. Insert straps into buckles and tighten as needed. Spectacle kit. This is available for users needing prescription eyewear. Lens shield protectors. These are available for protection of lens against scratching and overspray. Simply peel off backing and affix to lens. Change as necessary. Remember to follow all instructions in the 9000 user manual and your company's respiratory program. For further information on the use of this respirator, contact Moldex at 800-421-0668, extension 512, or at 1310-837-6500, extension 512, or visit moldex.com.